And here we have the man Sami Kempes Oino. He played for Gormaye and Arambi Stars in his heydays. And we have the pleasure of hosting him today on Sporty Monday. Sami Kempes, Karibu Sana. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you for inviting me. Very honored to be here mm -hmm. to talk about uh, Kenya football and my views on it. So, na asante sana. Uh, let's begin probably from where the viewer wants to hear. Who is Sami Kempes and where has Sami Kempes been? Uh, so, oh, my name is Sami Owino Kempes. Uh, most people know me as Sami Owino Kempes. My official actual name is Sami Owino mm -hmm. Olali. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the US, that's what they know me as. But uh, I was uh, born in uh, uh, Pumwani Hospital. I grew up in uh, Ziwani. Um, mm -hmm. And I then played for Umeme Football Club. And then I ended up being uh, recruited and played for Law Union. And then after that, played for Gormaya and the Kenya national team. Mm -hmm. And my home is uh, Seme Kombewa, mm -hmm. original home that's in uh, yeah, Reru and Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Kempes, we may understand you left Kenya for the US. Uh, probably tell us on that journey, how did you make that transition and what were you up to in the US? So, you know, when we when I was playing football, I think one of the things that I always kept in mind is that, you know, there's a, there's, there's a, a limit to how, how long you can play. Mm. And so my focus was always, besides football, was my future. Mm -hmm. And so when the opportunity came for me to go uh, for further studies in the United States to do what I wanted to do, which is engineering, mm -hmm. I jumped at the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so I went there with the intentions of coming back after my studies, but things happen and I ended up staying there mm -hmm. and, and living there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Living there quite a while, uh, we are made to understand you run some academy there. Is that a true picture, true reflection of what you've been doing? And if so, what, who, why, why an academy in, in the US and not in Kenya, if at all that's the case? Yes, the, the, the reason is, like I say, you, you know, there are some aspects of your life you can control and there's mm -hmm. some, some things that happen and opportunities that come in your life that you know, you just have to go by. So when I finished my education, mm -hmm. uh, the plan was to come and then more opportunities came up and I ended up working in the corporate world as, a, as an engineer and a software developer uh, for a lot of major companies in the US. And then when my son, older son came of age and I was looking for opportunity to, for where he was going to play, I started looking and I came to the conclusion that I was better off starting my own academy because mm -hmm. I had the experience of mm -hmm. having been part of the Olympic Youth Center, mm -hmm. which was an academy that was started uh, uh, by a, a gentleman by the name of Bernard Gold from mm -hmm. Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a cultural exchange uh, program between Kenya and Germany. And so I was pretty much aware of, you know, what's, what's needed to have a good academy. So I had a vision of a good academy. Mm -hmm. And so instead of, uh, having my son play for somebody else. At that point, I, I started my own in being encouraged by a friend of mine. So that's how it got started. And so I went from a small academy to now becoming one, number one ranked academy. Of course, there are multiple ranking, mm -hmm. but my academy is, is ranked number one in, in, in North Texas, which is the largest youth soccer um, you know, area in the, in the United States. And people are keen to know, Sami, what you, you explain paints uh, a gentleman who's done really well in, in the US, but now he's your home country of birth. How are you giving birth uh, back to the society, if I may ask? See, my, my focus has always been on, on youth soccer. And the reason youth soccer is important to me is because for me, the foundation of any football player mm -hmm. Uh, starts with, with a good, strong foundation in the development process. Mm -hmm. And so for me, my focus has always been on the youth because at the, at the, when, when, when a player is at, at an, a later age and if they don't have the right foundation, mm -hmm. then it becomes a problem. So that's always been my focus when I was there. Mm -hmm. I supported various youth academy. Mm -hmm. I decided that I was going to support various people mm -hmm. here that were doing uh, youth academies like Shedu, mm -hmm. uh, Ghost was one of them, Austin Odwari, Musa Otieno. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there were other people that you, you, nobody knows about. But I was 
pretty much involved in supporting the youth academy. That's the decision that I made. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, up to now, you've had the debate, uh, the panels just had of IFKF elections. And there are talks out there that Sami Kempezowino want to vie for the IFKF presidency. First of all, is this true or is it just hearsay? Yes, I am, I am vying for presidency for sure. And Why are you vying? Because I, am, I feel I have the experience, I have the competence, mm -hmm. I have a proven uh, track record. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a vision uh, for the country. That I have a vision uh, for the country that is needed right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that includes uh, uh, building sound management uh, processes, uh, building infrastructures in uh, youth development, in the coaching development, referee scouting. Mm. I have a plan for former players, mm. women's football. Mm. Um, and so, and also I, I, am, I played for Gormai and the national team, so I have the experience of having played there. And I think we have those pictures on screen, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Carry on. And, I, and, 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 and also I care about football. Mm. I care deeply about football because mm. I'm a product of the success of or because of football. Mm. I benefited from, from football. I came from humble beginnings, but football gave me opportunities to, to go, to do very well in life. So I take it very seriously. But, but Sami, somebody might ask, or I may ask, you've been in the US for a large part of your life, I believe from late 80s to now. Mm. Uh, are you in touch with the reality on the ground? Because as you saw, Kenyan football is, is murky for lack of a better word. We are going to see a lot of mud slinging. We are going to see candidates call each other out. And probably where you are coming from, the US, we don't see this kind of dirty politics. Are you ready for this, uh, this tumble? Of course I am. I, you know, this is a small world to begin with. I, you know, the idea that you live somewhere else and, so, and it, it necessarily means you're out of touch makes no sense to me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you all know it's like somebody living in Nairobi and saying I have nothing I don't know what's going on in Kisumu. Mm. It's a small world, number one. I've been involved in football. I've followed football. You know, I've been here multiple times. I've done businesses here. So I know the, the Kenyan culture very well. So the idea that, that I don't understand what's going on, is, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. Plus, I, can, I will debate anybody about Kenyan football. And see, you are ready for that hard uh, talk? Absolutely. But, but, but now, you're saying you're running. We've not seen you launch your campaign or so to speak. Mm -hmm. Why is that the case? Or probably you're dealing with the men directly on the ground. Are you going to launch your campaign? If so, when? Yes, the reason it's, it's always about, you know, when do you feel is the right time? And mm -hmm. so tomorrow we are having an official launch at Panari Hotel. I feel this is the right moment. And I have spoken to a lot of people about it, and they have, you know, people that uh, uh, know about what's going on, and I've consulted, and, and my feeling is, is this is the right time. So tomorrow I have an official launch. So tomorrow you're launching your campaign? Yes, yes. But again, Sami, you've talked of coming from the corporate world. You are an engineer by trading. But one of the key elements in managing football you must have good relations with the state. I'm talking of the government of the day. And you've seen even from the story we had, but past, past office holders have not really had a rosy relationship with the government. We were talking of Nick Mwend, where you saw him being kicked out of office at one point, former sports minister, minor commander, disbanding the federation at one point or the other. The, the cases are so many, I can go on and on. But in the event you get into this, and probably if you emerge victorious, what are the strategies that you have that are going to work for you and have that close collaboration with the government of the day? I'm, you know, again, I have a track record of working, having good relationships with organization. My youth academy has a very good relationship with the U.S. Soccer Federation. Um, I have a very good relationship with organization within the community in the U.S. Uh, I am regarded very highly there because of that. I work together with them. Mm -hmm. I participate in the process of building soccer in the U.S. I participated and people speak very highly of me. I don't have any issue. I think it's really important when you're in a leadership position to make sure that, that you make every effort to work well with the stakeholders. So I am confident that when it comes to that, I have an appreciation of it that I will be able to work with, uh, with the Ministry of Sport, Ministry of Education, FIFA, CAF, and SECAFA. So I don't have any issues with that, and I think I have proven in the past to be able to do that very well. Finally, finally, campus. You played for Gorma here in 19, 
85, 86. Eight, 82, up to 82. That's around 40 years down the line. Mm. Gorma here hasn't really changed an inch. We talk of a club secretariat. Today, if I walk there, it's not thriving. You talk of a training facility, the basic of things is not there. You talk of academy, a feeder, feeder program, it's not there. You talk of the senior team, paying of wages becomes a problem. You've gone to the US 42 years down the line. That does concern you and probably, what vision probably do you have for club football? That's a very good question. I, I think it all starts with, we talk about sound management, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, infrastructure. And I think that's really important. And one of the things I have is to be able to build Premier League. Premier League is really important. How do we market them? Mm -hmm. How do we hold them to, to, to account? Mm -hmm. How do we provide uh, training for them? But at the end of the day, I think what has to happen is that as a Football Kenya Federation, your responsibility is to create an environment for those is, uh, clubs to survive. Mm -hmm. But it's very difficult. It's, 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 it's not my place to run Gormaya. But what I can do is, is I can provide the environment. Mm -hmm. that, for which clubs flourish. For which club flourish. Now oh. it's up to them to get there. I totally agree with you that the top clubs, community clubs like Gormaya, FC Leopards, they, there's a lot that need to be done properly. There's a lot that needs to be done, says Sami Kempes Owino, that's ex-international and Gorma here player. He says his heart is in the ring regarding the FKF election, of course, will put him to account on all the pledges he's made on this set today. Remember, we'll stay top of this story and we'll be engaging all the candidates when they declare their interest and put them to account. Talking of club football, it's not very rosy.